Mark Rogers, TV, the voice of college football, running through our take on the first round of the NFL Draft. It is the most important weekend on the NFL calendar. We are the voice of college football, which means I've got a voice and you've got a voice. So we definitely need to hear from you, your comments, questions, and suggestions. All right, let's start with uh, the remainder of the first round here. Number 21, Billy Price going to Cincinnati, the Ohio State Center called a legend by Urban Meyer. That seems to be hyperbole until you consider what he established at Ohio State as the center, once a guard who started for the 2014 National Championship team. He started 53 games for Ohio State. How many did he lose? One, two, five games in 53? He was a tremendous player, all Big Ten, all American his last two years at Ohio State. Just a tough, tough, smart player who was able to make the transition from guard to center so he can play both positions. And now, after tearing a pectoral muscle at the NFL Combine, is able and ready to be um, ready to go in the 2018 season for Cincinnati. Number 22 selection, Rashawn Evans out of uh, Alabama to the Tennessee Titans, inside linebacker, playmaker, just a typical Alabama inside backer in the mold of Reuben Foster and others we've seen in recent years. Another SEC player goes to New England this time. Pick a number 23, Isaiah Wynn, the guard out of Georgia, who was one of the main cogs in leading one of the most prolific running games in recent memory in college football with, of course, Sony Michelle and Nick Chubb. DJ Moore, interesting pick here by Carolina in a draft that was very void of big-time playmakers at wide receiver. Wide receiver has been an outstanding position in the collegiate ranks, moving on to the NFL in recent years. We have seen just, uh, just tons of exceptional talent at the wide receiver position. Then all of a sudden this year, there's really not a whole lot there. DJ Moore, arguably the best of the bunch, although I would go with Calvin Ridley, but Carolina likes DJ Moore, the Maryland wide receiver, at pick 24. Baltimore, pick number 25, it's Hayden Hurst, the South Carolina tight end, who was once a baseball player, good enough to be selected by the Pittsburgh Pirates in the 17th round of the Major League Baseball draft. But Hayden Hurst gave up his dream of playing baseball, goes to South Carolina, becomes an elite tight end later in his career with the Gamecocks, and he's just a guy that's good enough in terms of speed, size, and physical combination that he can beat the linebackers down the seam, but he can also box up the safeties and use his physicality to box them out and make some plays downfield for a passing game at Baltimore that was limited in throwing to the tight ends underneath, really couldn't get the tight ends downfield with some mismatches that Hayden Hurst will provide. Pick number 26, the aforementioned Calvin Ridley by the Atlanta Falcons. He joins fellow Alabama wide receiver Julio Jones there. Should be more productive considering the style of offense with one of the better quarterbacks in the game and Matt Ryan versus what he experienced with Jalen Hurts in recent years, the past two years, and before that, Jay Coker with the Alabama Crimson Tide, a team that settled on defense and the ground game and field position to win football games, rarely opened it up. But when they did, they typically, in recent years, with the absence, of course, this season of O.J. Howard and others at wide receiver, they had to go to Calvin Ridley, and he was always there to make some big plays, especially the <coughs> key victory that they had in the SEC Western Division race against Mississippi State. He made some huge plays and the game winner on the road when Alabama was on the ropes. Rashad Penny, San Diego State running back, a record breaker at the collegiate ranks, goes to Seattle at pick number 27. The Seahawks running game has suffered in recent years. One of the main reasons why they have slipped from Super Bowl contention. Pete Carroll wants them to get back to a physical ground game in Seattle. This guy may be the guy to do it. Rashad Penny out of San Diego State to Seattle. Pick number 28. We talked about his brother. Now we talked to Rel Edmonds, the safety out of Virginia Tech, going to the Pittsburgh Steelers. We saw the tremendous moment of Ryan Shazier announcing the selection 
That was great to see. Now talking about Edmonds, versatile. Mel Kuyper pointed out the issues he had against the West Virginia passing game downfield, but he's a guy that can both lay the wood and cover most of the time. That's where he needs to improve his game. He can run uphill and run downhill, I should say, and enforce the run support. The cover skills need to come along from for Terrell Edmonds, but still uh, a classic Pittsburgh Steelers pick here at number 28. All right, Jacksonville, pick number 29. They still bulk up on defense. They win with the defensive front, and they will continue to with defensive tackle out of Florida, Taven Bryan. Did you see the tape on Taven Bryan? Did you hear the assessment on Bryan? Now, we talk a lot of Florida football here on Mark Rogers TV, and we didn't talk a whole lot of Taven Bryan. His name was mentioned at times, mentioned at times because he disappears. But when he is ready to go, there was the tape from the Texas A&M game. There was the tape from the Florida State game where he just wrecked offenses, just split double teams, just manhandled guys, just shoved guards and tackles into the backfield, into quarterbacks and running backs' laps. Taven Bryan can be a freak and can be a special player when he is right. And he goes to Jacksonville at 29. Minnesota goes with the interesting selection of Mike Hughes, the defensive back out of Central Florida. And what an off-field string of issues he has had. First, he went to North Carolina, was kicked off the football team due to an on-campus incident. Uh, he went to South Carolina, didn't enroll in time after he signed, had some issues there had his second opportunity at a big-time school and screwed it up. He went to junior college and was the Defensive Player of the Year in 2016, and he finished up at Central Florida and was part of that undefeated team that beat Auburn in the Peach Bowl. So keep an eye on Mike Hughes, Minnesota. The Vikings trying to shore up a pass defense that, despite their overall success as a defense, was ripped up in the NFC Championship game by Nick Foles and the Eagles. At pick number 31, New England goes to Athens for a second time in the first round, and they select Sony Michelle, the third running back taken in the first round out of Georgia. Nick Chubb got the ball most of the time. He was the starter, but Sony Michelle, for guys that were projecting toward the NFL, was certainly the pick here over his best buddy in the Georgia backfield, Nick Chubb. He, he plays when the bright lights are on. And he can get outside the backfield in space and catch the football and catch it well. He's a versatile back with great speed and a power running mode as well between the tackles. Sony Michelle will do extremely well with Bill Belichick and company in New England. And finally, to cap off the first round with another Heisman selection, as we had Baker Mayfield go number one to Cleveland, number 32, Lamar Jackson, Louisville going to the Baltimore Ravens. And what a selection for them, and what a perfect position you would think for Lamar Jackson to be able to step in, learn behind a veteran quarterback and a winner in Joe Flacco, a much different style quarterback. And that may be good for Lamar Jackson, who excels obviously with his legs and is a bit scattered with the arm. He's got enough arm strength. There is no question about the arm strength. It's the ability to... Um, operate a more complex offense, although there were indications that he actually thrived more in NFL sets in his college career than he did in the typical read option plays. But Lamar Jackson, time to learn under Joe Flacco. Flacco's guaranteed money runs out at the end of next season, so Lamar Jackson may be the starter sooner rather than later. Mark Rogers TV, the voice of college football, running down our Thoughts on the first round of the NFL Draft? This all works when we hear from you. Love to see your comments, your questions, and your suggestions right here at Mark Rogers TV.